गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टेन ऑफ कल्याण का आई एम एन सिंह एंड टूडे वी विल सी द लास्ट एक्सरसाइज ऑफ दिस ट्रेगनोमेट्री टॉपिक इज ट्रेगनोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज एंड यर स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट यू शुड नो What is identity? Identity is that relation which is true for all the values or variables involved in this given equation. A logarithmic identity you must have a study in class six or seven or eight or nine. so identity is means the equation which is true for all the values of the variables which are involved in the given equation a logarithmic identity you know very well a plus b whole square a square minus b square a plus b whole cube etc etc but now we will concentrate on trigonometric identities my dear student suppose this is a right triangle <coughs> abc right angle triangle and angle b is 90 degree and for this angle c suppose this is theta now you have learned we have six trigonometric ratios sine cos tan and these three are converse of cosec converse of sine sec converse of cos and cot converse of tan now you see many identities you will use in class 10 and this is very important i have already told you very important chapter in mathematics and you will study also in 11 12 and in higher class now you see the identities many identities for example sin square theta Plus cos square theta is equal to one. This is a very important trigonometric identity, and uh, sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one, and cos square theta. Minus cot square theta is equal to one. These are the three trigonometric identities. Many identities: tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta, and uh, you know cot will be converse of this tan. cos is equal to cos theta by sin now we have many trigonometric identities you can see in your book textbook now i would like to prove any one identity geometrically <coughs> sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 now suppose this is theta How can you prove geometrically any identities, either in trigonometry or algebra, can be proved, can be verified? But now I am proving sine square plus cos square is equal to one. Now you see, this is a right triangle. Sine theta is equal to you remind p by x. Sine the P is here AB and AC is the height. 
And now a square is equal to squaring both sides. You will get AB square upon AC square. Suppose this is 1. So we have got sine square theta. You can do AB square by AC square. Now you find cos theta. Cos theta is equal to BYH. You must have studied in exercise 1, 8.1. So B is here, BC by AC. Asquiring both sides, you will get BC square upon AC square. And now this is number 2. Now you see, if you, if you add these two, first and second, what will you get? Now listen to me, now we have got sine square theta and cos square theta. On adding first and second, on adding first and second, what will you get? Left side sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to right side you see AB square upon AC square plus BC square upon AC square. Now you limit the left side and simplify right side and see how you find LCM AC square and if we get AB square plus BC square. Now here you see AB square plus BC square. AB square plus BC square. Pythagoras theorem. The sum of squares of two sides is equal to the square of hypotenuse. So AB square will be BC square is equal to AC square and derivative is AC square. These two will be cancelled and you are getting 1. So what did you get? Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. This is uh, identity number 1. Similarly, we can prove all the trigonometric identities. I remind, <coughs> today is the topic is trigonometric identities. Identities I have explained an equation which is true for all the values of the variables which are involved in the given equation. Like algebraic identities, we have many trigonometric identities. I have noted uh, one is uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1, and similarly tan theta is equal to sine by cos, cot is equal to cos by sine, and you can see the book many trigonometric identities. And we will use these identities to solve the problems of 8.4 of your textbook. Now you, I re-explain re how we have proved sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now you see, ABC is the right angle, angle B is right angle. And C suppose theta, understand? Now you see, we find sine theta. Sine theta I have explained in 8.1. Sine is equal to P by H. Here for this angle, P is AB and H is AC. So AB by AC. Squaring both sides. If you raise your question, why we are squaring, sir? Because in the identity we have a square. A square. So on the squaring, we can square both sides. And whatever you do, you have to do both sides, LHS and all. Squaring both sides, you are getting sine square theta is equal to AB square by AC square. And similarly, cos theta we have found, cos is equal to B by H, BC by AC, 
Aspiring both sir, we have got BC square by AC square. So these two equation we have got, or adding these two, left side sin square plus cos square is equal to right side. You see AB square by AC square plus BC square by AC square. You simplify right side. You are getting AB square plus BC square by AB square. I am using the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Once again, I remind you, in a right triangle, the square of hypotenuse is always equal to the square of hypotenuse. Understand? So, this is the right side we are getting AC, AC square by using Pythagoras theorem and AC square doesn't matter. You simplify, you are getting one. So, we have just proved sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. I suppose you must have understood this is the geometrical proof of trigonometric argument trees and you have to solve you have to solve the question so what yes my dear friends I have explained what are trigonometric identities now I am solving to question of the given exercise and you will try to solve the other question. First is cos of theta minus cos theta whole square is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. Now you see we can start from any one side either from RHS or LHS. That is up to you. But generally we start from left hand side, but there should be no confusion, no any definite rule. You have to start from RHS or LHS. If you start from LHS, you should get RHS and then you will get your result. And if you start from RHS using the different identities, you should try to get left hand side. And if you get, you are absolutely correct in your attempt. Now you see, cos theta minus cos theta, this is very very crucial exercise and uh, this is very very important. You will understand my words in class 11 or 12. So now you see, cos theta minus cos theta whole square left side now we are starting from LHS. Suppose cos theta, a cos theta, you remind the formula cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to 1 by sin theta. So this will be 1 by sin theta. Now here you can ask the question, sir, how can we know which identities should be used? So my dear, there is no any definite rule which formula is suitable here. That depends your correct continuous exercise. More question, more idea you will learn. Understand? So what is equal to cos by sign. Now we have converted cos into 1 by sign cos is equal to yeah, into 1 by cos, a square. You find the LCM simple and you will get denominator 1 minus cos theta whole square. Now this is square for denominator and denominator both. You separate it. 1 minus cos theta whole square and this will be sine square theta. Sine square theta is equal to 1 minus sin is yeah, cos square. So 1 minus cos square whole square and denominator is 1 minus cos square. Now you use the algebra. Now you can ask the question, sir we are solving the trigonometry and we are using algebra. My dear, all these are mathematics. So any formula where it is uh, required we can use. Now you see this is in form of algebra. 
Which formula? You are correct, this is in form of A square minus B square. 1 means 1 square or 1 cube, whatever required we can take. So A minus B, A plus B. And numerator is whole square, so 1 minus cos, so 1 minus cos. 1 minus cos, 1 minus cos, numerator and numerator cancel. And you are getting 1 minus cos upon 1 plus cos. Now you see, what do you see? You are getting RHS. Now you write LHS is equal to RHS. I remind in a minute. This is the question. Prove cos theta minus cos theta whole square is equal to 1 minus cos upon 1 plus cos. We have started from LHS. Cos is equal to 1 by sine. Cos is equal to 1 by sine we have used. Cos is equal to cos by sine we have used. And uh, now you see we have found the LCM all the denominator sine. We are getting sine 1 minus cos in the numerator whole square. Whole square. And this is square for both numerator and denominator. We have separated. So 1 minus cos whole square upon sine square. Sine square algebra you are using A square minus B square. A plus B, A minus B. So wherever the part, we found the LCM, we found the LCA, we found the algebraic um, identities. So A square minus B square, A plus B, A minus B. All the square means you know a square. What is the meaning of a square? A square means the product of any number of terms by itself. That is called a square. A square of A, 8 into 8. A square of A, A into 8. Similarly, 1 minus cos plus square, we have written twice. 1 minus cos, 1 minus cos. And diameter is 1 minus cos, 1 plus cos. 1 minus cos and 1 minus cos, diameter and diameter cancel. We are getting 1 minus cos upon 1 plus cos. This is the analysis and just we have proved question number 1. So this is for this will guide your, you to solve the other question, whatever question. Now you see in very short time, one more question, very simple. Tan theta plus cos theta is equal to sec into cos. Tan is equal to sin theta by cos. We have started from LHS. Tan is equal to sin by cos. Plus cos is equal, cos is equal to cos theta by sin theta. And I have already told you, which uh, identity is used, that is not different. More question, more solution, more idea you will learn. Okay? Now you find the LCM, cos theta, sin theta. And here then the LCM is divided by this denominator, sin, sin into sin, cos of sin square. And this will be ditto cos square. Sin square plus cos square, identity number 1, this is 1. 1 by cos theta into 1 by sin theta. And now you 1 by cos into 1 by sin. And now 1 by cos is equal to sec theta and 1 by sin is equal to cos theta. Now you see, very simple. So LHS is equal to RHS. So, I will send you the homework and you will try to solve and these are the two solutions to guide yourself. So this is the end of chapter 8. Trigonometry very important. So trigonometric identities, these two questions you might have understood and now you will try to solve. Thank you.